Hello and welcome back to our HIP Republic of Ireland campaign. In our last episode, we finally became the Republic of Ireland, the most serene republic even, which is good. We have given away one of our duchy titles already to a vassal, and he's already gone to war with one of our patricians who we actually still have in prison. Uh, because for some reason, even though this is part of this duchy, I can't give uh, him to the duke as a vassal. I'm assuming because he's a patrician, or I guess it could be something to do with the fact that there's a wrong holding as the top holding here. There's no city in this county. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We're just going to let it work itself out or ignore the whole situation. Um, we did declare war on our rival queen. I was going to say king, but of course she's a queen. In Tara here for the county of Cork. So we should have a relatively easy time in this war. Let's get our troops raised. Shouldn't need to hire any mercenaries or anything. I guess we'll... Uh, yeah, we'll just disband this army. It's pretty likely to just get destroyed. Oh, our Grand Mayor has uh, created the title Duchy of Ulster. He's no longer our Marshal, we can probably just reappoint him. Uh, that kind of makes sense, he had three counties up there, so of course he could do that. Well, uh, I think this means we might be able to revoke this from him, since it's not in his duchy. I think he might have to move his primary title in there first. Let me just have a look here. Or maybe we just can't do that as a merchant republic anyway. I would, by the way, like to revoke this anyway, because it's a good county. It's got two freeholding slots. It's in our capital duchy. It would be very nice for us to have three more cities in here, even if we're going to have our steward mostly sitting in the capital. Anyway, our cousin, which is to uh, expresses his wish to have a seat on the council. His contribution to the realm is significant, and his mil military strength is not to be ignored. Uh, we d I mean, I guess I'd like to have him as steward, but... Well, we have a powerful vassal in here. I don't think we can. I mean, we can probably annoy this guy. probably annoy the Prosperity faction doing that. Not particularly great at anything else. Anyway, let's reappoint uh, our now Grand Mayor. Have him train troops. How powerful are you really? He has two holdings apart from his family holding. Let me check with the realm tree. Well, he is our second most powerful vassal. So probably we shouldn't annoy him. Sorry. Now imagine how much a steward with that... Uh, oh, I interrupted the tournament. Alright, well, we'll do it after the war. At least we got our money back. It would be really nice to have a steward with 20 martial skill. Be increase, it would increase our income quite a lot. Uh, our genius kinswoman. Slonia? Definitely should not be two fathers in there. Um, she requires a childhood focus. She's already very good at martial, but we don't really have to do that if we don't want to. Um, oh, not uh, Betrothal. I guess we can go for Diplomacy? Maybe Marshall is actually the best thing. Get a very good commander out of it. Alright, so we outnumber them. More than two to one. Um, there are river crossings everywhere, so... It doesn't really matter which way we go in. We're 
forgot to appoint commanders. Come on now. Uh, we're not too far off being able to assault this, but I guess we'll... Let's do it the slow way, and I think we'll send half of our troops in pursuit of their army. Let's take a brief detour to destroy this army. Our wine cellar is finished, okay. Alright, so the next upgrade here gives us plus one martial and monthly piety, so it's not just continued increase in fertility. Let's see, should we just continue upgrading this? I guess so, plus one martial is pretty good. Looks like the army from Tara has run into an army belonging to my vassal over there. Which is unfortunate for them. And our city walls have finished. Uh, let's actually just stay here and let them come back across the strait so we can fight another battle with them, because otherwise we'll just block them off from returning. Knights Templar, a new Christian military order has been founded by a small group of wealthy knights, the poor fellow soldiers of Christ and of the Temple of Solomon, or the Knights Templar for short. I've sworn to protect pilgrims tra traveling through the Holy Land. The Catholic Church fully endorses the order, and this will allow pious Catholic rulers to call on their aid. They will only fight against heretics and infidels. And a tithe in Dublin, thank you. And we'll appoint this guy as our commander, I suppose. Uh, we do, incidentally, have an advisor that we can appoint. Now that we're a kingdom. Whoa, what happened here? Fraticelli Uprising. This isn't our Fraticelli Uprising. Why are they fighting us? Ah, a cavern has succumbed to the Fraticelli heresy. Well, this is unfortunate. I guess we'll just try to retreat from this. I'm not gonna fight somebody else's heretics. If I can possibly avoid it. Alright, we lost our steward. Which means we could appoint our cousin. Though presumably whoever inherited that is now also a powerful vassal. Zero stewardship, though, come on. There are limits to the people I'm willing to appoint to my council just to keep them happy. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll appoint our unfortunately leprous cousin. And we'll have him collect taxes, I suppose. Should really help out our income. Thirty-five a month is pretty good. Also lost our chancellor or ambassador. The Bishop of Christchurch wants on the council. Wouldn't be great at the job though. I guess we'll just appoint this courtier. Means we have two powerful vassals now that we do not have on the council, but we do have that free advisor slot, so if one of them becomes a problem, we can 
give that to them. Prosperity faction currently seems happy. Yes, okay. And this guy still is not dead. He's 73 years old now. Um, yeah, I guess we just have to continue to wait this out. With the Brennan Patrician dying, uh, they are well behind in the race, so that's good. Ooh, uh, he just landed his army from boats here. Uh, it seems like a bad idea. Yep. I mean, she landed her army, of course. Uh, and finally, our Grand Mayor has died. Okay, so, um, I'm not sure what the succession was there. Yeah, I guess the land did get split up. So the patrician, the new patrician of the Uflaverty clan, or family, got uh, these counties, but the duchy title went to the heir of the family, I see. Interesting. Well, now he thinks he's a powerful vassal and wants to be on the council, but he doesn't. Oh no, he does as well. So one of our other council members must have become not powerful? Not sure. Suppose we'll appoint you as marshal then. All right, our Grand Mayor of Oriel has created the titular Duchy of Oriel. And I wish he didn't do that. I'd rather stick to the uh, non-titular duchies. I guess there's not much we can do about it. Meanwhile, we're up to 86%. We definitely don't want to let them siege anything back over here, so... We'll go and chase them out. Grand Mare Art of Oriel. This, again, is the attrition of the Flavertes. Expresses his wish to have a seat on the council. Um, I guess we probably should try to get him on the council. We can fire our ambassador, I guess. Tell him yes, and then point him there. Let's see, we have our marshal not doing anything. We'll have him train troops. And our ambassador, do we need to improve opinion with anybody? I guess our Grand Mayor of Ulster. Okay, 96%, so one more siege of anything will do it. Uh, we should absolutely check on the elections now, though, since we can probably quite cheaply uh, make sure that we buy the next one. Our leader is at 3,000, so Let's see how much it's going to cost us to get ahead there. It seems okay. 600 gold. Not too bad. I guess we should maybe consider changing our focus so that we can live a bit longer. I suppose it doesn't matter too much if we're going to inherit the Republic anyway. I guess our stewardship is so bad I kind of want to keep the stewardship focus. That's fine. Um, oh, I guess we we're having we're we're getting ticking war scores, so we got up to a hundred that way. Good, we can enforce demands. Mood of our prosperity faction is improved, and yeah, the mayor of the city gets the county. That makes sense.
so he has the county and the uh, castle in here. I get it. So now we can hold our grand tourney and not interrupt it. Hopefully. It's going to disband my troops. A traveler shows me a special napkin he got in Persia. To clean it, he simply throws it into a fire. After a while, all the grime and dirt is magically gone. He says that the napkin is made from a type of rock known as asbestos, which some say originates from the skin of the fire-breathing salamander. So we can buy the napkin, um, which gives us some extra prestige. Or we can say, it looks interesting, but you can keep it. You lose some intrigue, but gain diplomacy and learning. I think we'll not buy the asbestos napkin. I have no basis for saying this in the year 1119, but something about that sounds dangerous. Alright, so let's have our jesting tournament begin soon. Don't go to war. Don't go to war. Well, you can go to war, that's fine. So the people who inherited the land of our former Trishan are now going to war with each other over what? It's a du jour war over Oriel, which is du jour part of Ulster, but is held by Oriel. Okay, makes sense. Uh. Our non-aggression pact with Genoa has been dissolved? Okay. Um, I guess more importantly for us personally, our wife died. So let's marry somebody with good stewardship, I suppose. Um, we can even marry a genius, that might be a good idea. We could get somebody with better stewardship, but... I mean, Toll is pretty good as well. Ah, uh, sure. And I think we'll gain the gold. Our strong daughter needs an education focus. Uh, haughty, idolizer, and fussy. So, intrigue. Or learning, I suppose. I'm kind of inclined to just go with Marshall because that's what she's best at already, and she is also strong. Which is partially why she's good at Marshall, of course. But it wouldn't be good considering her traits. I guess we'll go with learning. Looks like Oriel is going to win this initial battle here. Though Ulster has almost 2,000 troops right next door and doesn't send them for reinforcements. What are you doing? Time to let the tournament begin, and for the next months, let all show their martial brilliance. This is the time. Uh, did Oriel win? Yeah, the Ulster army is retreating, so they must have. Alright, this guy has gotten third place. Good for him. Somebody from the same dynasty as him, actually. These people are in Kildare, okay. Got second place. And another person from Kildare. A lowborn a lowborn person. Has been crowned the winner. Okay, good for him. The tournament is over, now it's time to bask in the glory. Tooltip broken. But we assume it makes our vassals happy. Alright, um, if you are not at war now, uh, we could see if... Except vassalize, vassalize, no, you weren't at war previously, were you? It was... you? Yeah, I didn't think so. 
so maybe we can get a word declaration on you through the council at this point. We cannot. But we could appoint an advisor who would potentially vote in our favor. Let's see here. So we basically want somebody who's not a glory hand. I guess we don't really have much way of knowing what their leaning will be once they're on the council. I guess a uh, family member, a close family member, is probably more likely to be loyalist. Maybe a member of the Prosperity faction is more likely to be a pragmatist. This is the only one who's not already on the council. He does consider himself a powerful vassal. We'll make him the advisor and see what happens. Nope, he was a glory hand. Alright, well we could buy a favor from one of these people, maybe. 802 gold. Let's not buy a favor from him. Well. I guess we'll just find somebody else to go to war with, or maybe see if some of the other council members can be bought for cheaper, but for now we are just about out of time. Ooh, a big revolt in England. Maybe we can take advantage of that somehow. Probably not. Anyway, thanks for watching, and join me again next time.